Hello everyone and welcome to my show, Date or Disaster, where tonight our bachelor is youngest VIP, okay? He'll have his ladies with him, okay? And he'll be asking them questions and so on and so on. So where you at, youngest? To the box, youngest. Scroll up. You want me? Thank you, boss lady. I don't know what I'm strolling up to see. No, wait. Okay, we're waiting. Are we waiting? Get in there. Okay. She said he gonna be here at 10. He gonna be... Okay. Okay, well... We're just gonna, we're just gonna, you know, I don't know. We still can start. Who doing the, uh, who doing the gunning? Youngest is? Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Okay, what's going on? Nothing much. Hi, y'all. I'm glad to be on Date or Disaster. My name is Designer Pancakes. Yes, my cakes are designers. They're one of a kind. You can catch me going live Mondays and Tuesdays and popping up through your lives throughout the week. Hi, my sweet tie, my sweet innocent tie, that is cotton candy. Yeah, I'm so... Mm. That sounds good. And, you know, I'm delighted to be on this show with Youngest, Killer, Boss Lady, you know, so if they want to hold it down and tell us about themselves. Hello, everybody. My name is Killer. I'm also delighted to be on the show with Kiki's Wifey. Appreciate you for having us with Youngest and with Boss Lady. Um, currently, I do not stream no more for right now. My streaming is on a hold, but I still do go around and I still do support my people. I am a big supporter. Um, other than that, just I'm thankful to still be on the out with y'all. Okay, y'all know we're having all these difficulties, so I have to mute them, you know. Um... Hey, AP Young. Okay, do we have another lady? Is that her? Boss lady? Okay. He got the women, women, don't he? Hey, boss lady, hey, how are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you feeling? Good. You can tell the people a little bit about yourself. Yes. So my name is Boss Lady. Um, I normally stream in the morning times, like around six thirty. Um, for probably about, hey, Ty, what's up, everybody in the room? Salute to everyone. Of course, to Wifey the Boss. Thank you for having us this evening. You're welcome. Hey, everybody. That's my baby. <laughs> yes, we know that's your baby's mother, okay? Okay, so I think we're just waiting on youngest. Um, he's running a little behind. He had something to do, but he is on the way. Okay, so until then, make sure y'all favor these beautiful ladies. Okay, get to know them. Do any of you ladies want to say a little something more? Because I can go on mute and we can just hold it down till he gets here. No pancake gonna be dating y'all. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. 
Okay, so until he gets here, I'm going to be dating y'all. Okay? Now, I'm going to call you Bubble Sleep, even though you're my baby mama. I got a question for you. If I wanted a lap dance on a first date, would you give me one? So that's kind of a rough question to ask. The reason why I say that is because if we was at the strip club or we went to like a club or something like that and I was dancing, I probably would. But uh, depending upon the setting, I probably would. But if we was out in the club though, oh yeah, most definitely. Um, Honestly, if we at home, it don't matter if we out. If you ask one, I'm gonna give it to you. Why not? We partying. What's yours is yours. Belong to you. Okay. So, when you look at somebody, what is the first thing you're attracted to? for the love everybody um the first thing i look at i have a thing for like eyes hands and teeth eyes hands and teeth if you got ugly hands and you bite your nails you can't put your fingers on me i got a problem i can fix them for you though i got you <laughs> to me as long as you present yourself with good quality because looks can be deceiving at any time i honestly wouldn't care about a look but as long as you present yourself the way how you're supposed to be you acceptable to me i totally agree with that because you know what to me it just seems like the cuter the man is the more problems you might have just give me a decent looking man with a great sense of humor and just be who you are and I can deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he just dog but ugly, yeah, and teeth. But I don't know. I don't know, Godfather. He might not have to have any teeth because without teeth sometimes, they can do a lot of things. Okay, but, um, okay, I'm just running the show. I'm not in the show. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You said without teeth, they could do a lot of things. I know somebody at my job that ain't got no teeth, so just let me know what can they do for future references. Don't know how that works. talking to me. I thought she was talking to you. <laughs> See, I like tea. They ain't got to be perfect. Even some imperfect tea have the best smile. But a rub. Uh, <laughs> no tea means extra gum, I guess. So, y'all have fun with that. Um, I got to say, tea, no tea, it just... The way how you coordinate, you just gotta, like they say, you gotta, you gotta find different ways with stuff. So, honestly, if you can coordinate with no teeth, I salute to you. Now, to go along with that question, um, due to that I'm recording, let's just say, you don't have to have teeth because if you don't have teeth, they have dentures. Okay, so I'm just saying at night, beside the bed, you can pull them out. Um, you can wet your gums, shine your gums up, use some toothbrush, uh, toothpaste and mouthwash, and get yourself back right to shine and put your teeth back in in the morning. Okay, so I'm not saying that I can't deal with a man with no teeth. Um, at my age, it's probably a blessing. 
okay, to get a half decent band. So if he doesn't have teeth, I can accept that, okay? Instead of being my disaster, I think he would be my date, okay? All right. Okay. Being that youngest is not here yet, um, I have another question. If I was attracted to y'all, right, and let's just say I'm a stud, but I was a stud that um, didn't wear no bra, would y'all still give me a chance? I don't wear a bra sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You gotta let them things hang. It be hot out there in them tag streets. <laughs> I really wear bras too, so come on home. <laughs> okay. So, um, if I wanted to take y'all to, let's say, Wendy's on the first date, right? And then, you know, we go to the dollar store and get some um, candy and hit the dollar, um, the dollar movie theater. Well, it's a dollar fifty now. Would y'all be down with that? You know, it's the thought that counts. I was finna sense in my comments. I was finna say like six bad words. So I'm gonna leave that alone. But girl, yes. I sure will. We're gonna have a whole blast. I'm gonna put, I don't need to carry a purse, but I'm gonna carry a purse that day. So we can put all the snacks in there and we're gonna have a blast. Show will. You talking classic to me? That's some old definitely yes. I'll take classic over new school any day. What movie gonna go watch? <laughs> I mean, me myself, and this is something a lot of people probably don't know about wifey. I think one episode I'm gonna I'm gonna do the dating. Wifey don't go to the movies because um, it's something about the lights when they go dim. I go to sleep. So it'll be a waste of your dollar fifty. God forbid if it's fifteen dollars to get in the movies. It's just blowed away. I will eat the popcorn and the snacks. I'm gonna eat everything. Cause I love to eat. After that, I'm going to sleep. So if you was to take me to the movies, I would have a pillow, okay, because and a blanket, because I am going to sleep as soon as I get through with the snacks. What is the most toxic trait y'all have? What is the most toxic trait that y'all have? Uh, mm, hmm. My most toxic trait, I would probably say is that I love hard, which is sometimes a bad thing. Um, also, I don't eat no meat. So I'm addictive, and that could be toxic as well. Hmm? Mine is, I can't say distance from you way too long. So let's say if we like two, three, four weeks to apart from each other, it's going to be an issue. I at least need to see you at least one or two times out of them weeks so I know that you're okay. I'm very... I said I'm very overprotective, so. Um, I think my toxic trait is basically boss lady. Just, I love too hard. So it's hard for me to try to love. Now, as far as getting to know a man, um, I mean, that's good too, but it's just like the men that I seem to come across, it's, I don't know, it's just different. It's just different. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm older. Um, I prefer I'm a little younger than me. You know what I mean? Not too young, but a little younger than me. Because I feel like there's still things I can teach them and they can teach me things. You know what I mean? But, you know, it don't always work out like that. But it is what it is. So I guess I'll be single, but uh, I am recording for YouTube. So if there's any single man out there, if you're looking for a great wife, 
Okay, just download the app tag and come search in Wifey the Boss and maybe we can have a good time. No one night stands though. Okay. Yes, and when you download the tag app, um, my toxic trait is is that I love hard, but also is I see through people crap, and so I'm not going to deal with it, and I'm going to tell you how it is. So, you know, if you can't, if you don't have tough skin, don't don't try to um, wipe me because it's, it's not going to work. But if you got the, if you um, have the syrup and the butter for these cakes, you're, you're able to flip it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, so the next question is, um, what is your favorite time of year and why? Um, I would say summer. I do not like to be cold at all. Like it makes me sad. Like I could probably cry. So, uh, like it's cold outside now. I'm struggling on a daily basis. You hear me? Yes. I wear too many dresses for that boo. Right. But that's my favorite. Um, I actually don't have a favorite. I actually enjoy it all because it's like through the quality you get to see how that person reacts, and then you can also get to see how that quality time will be. Through all different uh, segments, so I like them all. This was actually supposed to do when I do my own dating show, but I hate, 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 hate the winter. Okay, I'm a little bitty woman, and I love big men. Okay, big men. You gotta have a little, you know. Santa Claus look, you know, you got to keep me warm. Um, actually, uh, because I want to be just a little flirtatious, um, it's actually the one, he's in my live right now, uh, but we won't say who he is, uh, but um, yeah, but you know, sometimes they want to run, but that's okay because uh, wifey usually gets what she wants. Um, I will not make it public ever on tag but it, it's gonna happen um i've noticed people find love on tag and that's one reason i downloaded the app and now that i've found him um i don't know maybe he'll bow down one day but we won't say who he is but he's definitely in here okay so a lot of times people rush into relationships and everything um, and they don't really get to know the family. So describe your family in a few word words so I can get a sense. Gorgeous. Funny. Potheads. Foodies. Like chill. <laughs> Goofy, pothead, drinkers, you name it, we going on for it. Somebody fall for you, we falling for them. Sorry, we don't let nobody advertise whoever we walk them into our guests into. It ain't gonna happen like that. Now I say I'm very overprotective, they are very overprotective too. So what what that what's their little say? One for all and all for one? Yeah. So very, very protective. A very good sense of humor. You will never be in tears, not unless it's happy tears around us. That ain't gonna happen like that. <laughs> Okay, considering I'm from down south, I am a country woman. Um, my family, we have a lot of, uh, well, it's like three alcoholics. Um, I really keep my family out of my business because at the end of the day, that's my man and not theirs. So however they feel, I really don't care because I pay my own bills. I pay my own way, so I could really care less. But to, to have a man, I would never let my family disrespect him even though they probably wouldn't 
but I just wouldn't let that happen because I will pop them in their mouth all the way down to my granny. Yeah, that's a granny. Okay, so I need a woman that knows how to cook. Right? He's coming? Thank God. Um, I need a woman that knows how to cook. So tell me y'all favorite dish and why and who taught y'all how to make it. I be hungry, y'all. I be hungry is. But yeah, so uh, I bake cakes from scratch. I know how to make sweet potato cakes, red velvet cakes. Um, my favorite thing to cook is I like macaroni and cheese, um, some cabbage with some cornbread, and some pinto beans. And we don't eat meat around here. But if you want me to fry you some chicken, I can, though. You know, we be hungry. And I make a good uh, banana pudding cake. You probably ain't never had one of those before, but it be fancy. I am the main dick. <laughs> Shoot. Um, oh, I'm gonna start y'all off from the Mexican dish. My grandmother told me from that. That is my main religion. Um, I can go from there. Y'all want some enchiladas, some manudo. Y'all want anything that's prohibited with meat? And go to the black side, kick y'all on that good steak. Y'all want some good macaroni and cheese. Y'all want some southern beans. Just let me know. Only thing that I perhaps, because not a lot of people like doing it. I know not a lot of men like desserts. So, but you know, if you still want a light dessert on the side, I can still do that too. But not all men like dessert. So you got to be very picky on that. But when it comes to a whole cooked meal, they for sure want a whole full cooked meal. I for sure do that from head to toe. That ain't nothing. Okay, youngest has made it. Now, me being a down south woman, my favorite is Thanksgiving. I love to cook. I cook everything under the sun, so I can't just say what's my favorite. I cook everything. Uh, as far as a man I want dessert, that's fine if you don't like desserts because I am the dessert, okay? So, you know, it came in chocolate, vanilla, whatever color that you would like to use. They do have ice cream toppings that you can put down there, so I don't know. Sorry about the gift noise. Okay, so now that we have youngest, youngest hit the box. The ladies have been waiting on you. Uh, ladies, you all might have to, where is youngest? I think, did he come in? I seen him come in the building. I think I seen him come in. Okay, where's he at? Okay. Yes. Hey. Okay, we're going to let Youngest tell a little bit about himself. Youngest, from there, you just take over with your questions. Ask each lady individually, one by one. Call out their names so I can unmute them. And by the end of the show, you'll see who's your date of disaster. I bet. So you want me to ask everybody individually the same question, though, right? Yeah, they'll answer individually, yes. All right. What's up, everybody? First off, hi, wifey, hi, pancakes, hi, boss lady, hey, killer. <laughs> What's up, strange? Shout out to everybody. All right, who started off? Pancakes, what are you most passionate about? Um, my kids, my work. And um, oral sex. Yes. You didn't hear it? My kids, my job, and oral sex. Big, big, big. 
Um, I'm most passionate about my daughter. And I'm very passionate about finding out more about who I am as a person. Um, a lot of times we think that we know who we are and sometimes we really don't. We just go along with everybody else. And I've been finding myself a little bit more lately and I'm really passionate about that. And I'm super excited about it. And food, because I be hungry. Um, mine is my self love. Of course, I put myself before anybody else. So I have to I can go and gravitate back my love like I want to. And then on top of that, my education and my drawing. All right, those were some cool answers. Those are some uh, interesting points of view on the question. All right, next question, ladies. What's your deal breaker in a relationship? Jesus, forgive me. A small penis. No job. No house of his own and no money. That, that's all. And no honesty. Um, a deal breaker, uh, the dishonesty, like just be honest. Uh, I take honesty over anything. I don't give a, it's so hard for me to not use these words that I want to use, but it'd be so hard for me to, to not accept. I can't deal with the dishonesty. Just tell me what you did or what you didn't do. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you be real with me. That's my main thing. I don't ask for a lot. I'm not a fan of a liar, so if you're going to lie to me, it's no fun you asking me out. You might as well just keep pushing what you was doing. Yeah, I understand it. Keeping it real with yourself, keeping it real with your partner. I feel you. All right. Where is the weirdest place y'all had had sex? The cemetery. He wasn't supposed to ask me that question. Um, don't get so. See what happened was everybody was in the house, and I couldn't be in the house, so I had to be outside. And the only hiding spot I had. Don't judge me. It was like. A dumpster and then the dumpster was in this little cage thing so we went on the side of the cage thing that's about the weirdest don't judge me but it's the truth I was about 18 I'm grown <laughs> oh my god uh, man I, I've been everywhere so honestly though I probably got to say the public bathroom. <laughs> Hell yeah, y'all outside, outside. I see y'all, y'all outside. <laughs> I bet. What's your favorite time of the year and why? Well, I like um, the winter time because, you know, it's cold. During the summer, I sweat a lot and everything. So I, I like the winter time. I like to be cold. Like I, the summer, I do not like to be cold. It makes me sad. Like the snow, when you step on it, makes my flesh crawl. I just can't do it. It's just too much. <laughs> the summer, please give me the heat. All of it. I don't have no favorite. I'm all year round. For those just coming in, welcome to my show, Date or Disaster, where tonight we have our bachelor, youngest VIP, Dallas. okay? He has his three bachelorettes. He'll decide by the end of the show which one's a date or disasters, all are date or all are disasters. So stay tuned, okay?
Alright, bet. We outside. They said they outside all the time of year, winter, summer. That's the one. Alright, listen. Next question. Have you ever had anal? Craig Craig said, I love that. Craig <sighs> said, and look. I am a child of God and I'm a Christian woman, but yes, I have participated in, you know, the devil's work a couple times when I was drunk. <laughs> Look, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm nasty. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Don't judge me. I mean, from the roster table, some girls like it, some don't. Come here. <laughs> well, that goes for that. Tag is a freaky app. So listen, <laughs> do you prefer to give or receive? I like to give. I'm going to put this tongue and these tongue rings to work. I have an obsession with receiving. It's like a, an obsession. Not so that I won't give. I will. But it's an obsession for me. Not perfect. Can I take Curly B's words? Put that thing in the thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> I bet. Listen. Would you ever make a sex tape? I do have a sex tape and it's on World Star somewhere from years ago. Oh, my bad. Sorry. So, um, I'm not a camera person, but uh, whenever you want to mentally replay or you need me to physically replay some things for you, I will. I don't, I don't do the camera. I mean, you like it. I love it. Let's go. What's all that? <laughs> World star. That's a vibe. Time for the voices. Yo, uh, all right, Beth. What's your favorite type of toy? Oh, God, forgive me. I love the rolls. It is a magical thing. Everybody, if y'all don't have the rolls, get one. I'm over here fidgeting and, shit and stuff. Sorry. So, uh, I have a rose. To be honest, I don't necessarily like it. Uh, it's the vibration for me, not the suction. So anything that has the proper vibration will get me where I need to be and it won't take me long. I honestly don't have one. I never did use one, but I'll probably say if I did have one, I'll probably say the fox. Some interesting answers. I'm going to go search them things up, man. Hey, uh, what do you like the most about yourself? I like my personality. Because my personality is amazing. I can be fun. I can be serious. I can be, you know, pancakes one day and waffles the next. You just never know. What I like most about myself is that I'm a genuine person um, in real life. 
um, I honestly wish and hope the best for everyone and wish that everyone would wish and hope the best for everyone else too. I'm a seriously genuine person. If I say it, I mean. I just like seeing my people happy. So if I know I'm happy one day or my people are not happy one day, they down, I'm down. So we going through it together. It's one for all, all for one. All right, listen, listen, listen. Are you a submissive or a dominating individual in the situation? Shit. Okay, so anybody ever seen Fifty Shades of Grey? I wasn't, I'm not the female, I'm the man. That's all I have to say. Has anybody ever seen or read the book, Fifty Shades of Grey? I'm not the man, I'm the woman in that book. What you need, baby? I'm fake. I am the woman. I'm going to give you what the fuck you want. When, where, everything. Come here. Bring that ass home. Okay, everyone, welcome to my show, Date or Disaster, where tonight we have Young Dallas, Young VIP, okay? He is the bachelor. He has his three bachelorettes, and it is very hot in here, okay? So we're just going to keep going. Also, ladies, raise your hand if you have a question for our youngest, because he is going in, okay? So if y'all want to get y'all a little L back, y'all welcome to. But we're going to continue the show. But if you got a question for him, just do like this and I'll unmute you. Okay. Go on with Pancake. What attracts you to a female? What attracts you to a I answer her question? Mm hmm uh what attracts me to a female um their mental and their like you know their ambition and uh hygiene oh no i was that that was that was the perfect answer i was agreeing with you <laughs> um What's your main thing that brings you, like, really, really turns you on to a female? Uh, consistency, but always, like, you know, um, being secure with themselves. I don't really like an insecure female. I don't like a female that's, like, so worried when you know you got something good. You feel me? So somebody who's like more secure with themselves, that turns me on. <laughs> oh, hey. Okay, youngest, we're back to you. I think that's all the questions the ladies had for you. So we can continue right along. Okay. All right. Uh, what's your favorite part of your body and why? See, I got a, I got a couple of them. Um, I'm going to say my lips because I like to suck dick. Um, my boobs because I like to put them in, in your mouth. And that's all I'm going to say for right now. <laughs> I love cakes too. Um, I like my hips, and um, and I like my face. People used to make me think that I was ugly and fat too. It took me a long time to realize that I wasn't ugly, nor was I fat. Right. <laughs> All 
Wondering why we stay. Yeah, here. come here. Um, but besides that, I like my smile. Literally, my smile. I, I hear it a lot. It brings a lot to people's joy. So. Uh, what you over there eating? Mm -hmm. All right, listen. If we was to start, if we was to start talking, would you make me stop streaming? No, I would not make you um, stop streaming because my thing is, uh, if I'm talking to you, I already know what the act brings. I already know what it consists of. So. I'm confident in my position in him. People ain't gonna know who I'm dating or talking to anyway. Do your thing and just bring me back home, you know, a little percentage. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to stop streaming. That's what we, that's why I met you. That's what we do. So that's what we gonna continue to do. As long as you know how to stay in your place and I, I know how to stay in mine, so you can keep them in there, so we good. I will never stop you from nowhere where we started from. If we built, if we already started building the empire together, why would I stop you from where we already left off at? That don't make no sense. That gotta be the most stupidest, craziest woman in the world to stop you doing from what the fuck where you started from. Excuse my foreign language. I know we on the show, but I wish you, I wish a woman would stop a man stop from what they already started. Literally, it doesn't make no sense. Daisy talking about she got beef with people's number ones if you're in a relationship. <laughs> you can't be the main attraction. All right, listen. Where do you see yourself in five years from now? Um, I see myself. I'm already like international of uh, going with school and stuff, so. Right now, I am in the mix of double opening back my business since I am going back for uh, for college for business. So why not open some more business around here? Why not gravitate and just like, not just help our community, but help this world too, because this world is our world. Uh, in the next five years, my daughter will be 19 years old. Uh, she already got her passport, I got mine. I want to travel. I want to go see some stuff. I want to go show her some stuff. We're going to enjoy life for real, for real. In the next five years, I should have be done. Don't judge me because I'm country. <laughs> In the next five years, I should have be done. Bought my daughter a house. So she'll be set. And if something ever happened to me, she ain't got to worry about where she's going to stay. And um, I just want to live life and travel. I'll be where I'm supposed to be in my um, career. So, yeah, I just look forward to it. Okay, so in the next five years, um, I want to purchase, um, well, actually, it's about to happen in, like, the next couple months, honestly. My second house, I already got a four-bedroom house. I already have a group home for mentally disabled people. So I want to open up an um, assisted living um, house that I've been looking at, and it actually went through, and I've been, um, you know, getting furniture and everything, but that's just going to be for regular old people older people and um i don't know i already like i already seen most places with traveling but you know i can go overseas somewhere oh 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 wait wait oh oh and also y'all my autobiography will be coming out in um january i am an author that's all i gotta say Tia, yeah, we in the building. All right, back. If I was a poly, would you still accept me? If he was poly, would I accept you? Yes. And I say that because um, I work a lot, you know? So I'm barely home. So on the time, the, the little two or three days that I am home, I'm going to want to be with you. But I understand that a man has needs and 
you know, I don't mind sharing as long as I approve. That approval part was important. Um, ooh, I wouldn't um, be against it. It would have to be something that we would work out together. It would be somebody that we chose together or whatever the case may be. Um, but no, I wouldn't be completely against it. I'm down for almost anything, almost. I mean, why not? I like women who like women who like men too. Let's grind together. Killer just said a riddle. All right, listen. What's your favorite type of food? I like seafood, you know, crab, king crab legs, lock the tail, shrimps, all that kind of stuff. You know, my eating can be expensive. That's why I work hard. My food be super expensive. I'd be spending like $30 on a, a vegetable wrap. But <laughs> my favorite type of food is Mexican food. I love like salsa and guacamole and chips and those types of things. So yeah, I love me some Mexican food. Uh, we don't have no favorite, but I'll probably say if I do got a favorite, I'll probably gotta say steak. Cause I'm really picky when it comes to that. Your steak better be done correctly. I don't care if it's marinated. I don't give no heavens. You better make sure that that steak is good. Cause trust me, we like six part six five and, and five star restaurants around here. That whole lot of steak, whole lot of veggie rolls, whole lot of all that. All right, bet. Let me see. Um, what's your favorite trait about me? I love that you are a very genuine person, and then also I know that like. When I come to your lobby, you want to be on positive vibes. You're always jumping around and, you know, you always give good advice. And then um, I really like when you wear your little two ponytails because then I could just tug on, tug on them while I'm tickling your pickle. <laughs> come through with the ponytail. Ponytail come through. You hear me? But no, you seem like a... um. You're, you're well-spoken. Um, a lot of people, especially I talk to people all day, every day. A lot of people aren't, don't articulate well, and you're very well-spoken. That means you can hold a conversation and your questions is off the map. I thought it was kind of funny how you went from boning to food. Supposed to go to food first, but then bone, which like, whatever works, it works for me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's your personality. You got a good spirit, the way how you present yourself. Uh, I, I got to say it's the whole 360, like literally, because if you bring joy to the app, like the way that you do, you bring joy to me personally, the way that you do, you outstanding. And I'm going to say this too, y'all want him to act like SpongeBob or Patrick, he will bring that laughter out of you. He does not like sadness. And that's one thing. And it really, that's that's a real big heart right there. I appreciate that. <laughs> I got all those beautiful ladies in the tennis, man. Y'all make sure I hit them queens with that fave. Y'all make sure I hit wifey with that fave for hosting the whole situation. All right. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Egypt. I want to go to Dubai. I look forward to going there. Paris or England? She 
them passports ready, you feel me? Get them passports ready. <laughs> all right, listen. What's your favorite movie of all time? Um, all about the Benjamins. <laughs> Bring it on. Um, my favorite movie of all time. I'm going to have to say, um, Holiday Heart. It's crazy because it's like, I don't know none of the movies. Like, I probably do know the movies, but I don't know that movie. But you feel me? I mess with them. I bet. Who, uh, which top badge on the app don't you like and why? I actually got a few of those. Mama only named one because he asked for one. Well, my, my, um, Montana, why? Because for one, you just going to use people. Then for two, you want to sit there and lie to people. So you basically got a whole combination. So why would I want to be around you? I might have just finesse you at this point. I wish you would have never talked this year. I can't say that it is the top badge that I don't like um, because I don't really follow too many. Not, I can't say that, but um, the top badge that I do follow, they be straight, though. You know, everybody got their different way of streaming and handling their lives and stuff. So I think if you kind of understand that, you let them do them. But I can't say that there's one that I don't like. I'm a nice person. I get along with everybody, but I don't like Montana. He is very disrespectful with the way that he talks to women. And he called me out my name in the first. And at first, I thought he was all right because I don't listen to what people say. I got to get to know you for myself. So for you to disrespect me and call me out my name, no. Once a person had beef with me, they got beef with me for, forever. I don't care how many diamonds he has. I like those answers. Those are some good answers right there, man. Y'all make sure I hit them queens with that face. Uh, all right, bet. Listen. Why do you think you should have an opportunity to date me? Okay, everybody. We're coming down to the final questions of the show. Okay, so everybody stay tight. Let's see how this is going to go. Oh, shit. Um, I think that I should have an opportunity to date you because we will make some pretty kids in the future, just not right now. And also, because I'm not going to nag you, I'm not going to blow your phone up. I make my own money. I know how to cook and I give some bomb ass head. Can I watch? I just want to watch, baby boy. I just want to look. Can I be the fly on the wall? But anyway, focus. So um, I think you should pick me to go on a date with because, uh, like I said, I'm a genuine person. Um, I like to have fun. I like to play sports. Most of them don't even like going outside to play. Um, I can cook. I ain't lazy. I make my own money. Um, and you seem like you're a dope ass person too. So couldn't go wrong. Two dope people. Honestly, I hear a lot of poly going on right now. <laughs> We we gonna we gonna combine this poly in here right now as we take this so 
But also, but besides that, I'm a gamer too. I love playing basketball. I know I ain't been playing sports like that in a minute. My focus right now is on my schooling and my grind. You got your grind going on. You already know. If you want that head, that ain't nothing. I will stop what the fuck I'm doing to come in there and get some head. I'm going to know when you stress, so you're going to get that back massage. I'm going to run that bath water. You're going to go shopping. Hello, I'm a shopper too. Did, did we say baller? Like, come on now. We're going to do the whole 360. It's your world. Let's go. Okay, Whew. we got to take like a second and a half here. Okay, Dala, um, I know you've heard what all the ladies had to say, and they've all pleaded, not the 5th, but the 10th and the 15th and the 20th. They've pleaded their cases here. <laughs> so, with that being said, um... Which ladies would you like to date and why or why not? Damn, that wasn't long enough for me to make up my mind. <laughs> she said no love, I don't share. Uh, nah, all, all of them gave me like, you know, the situations when it came down to the questions like i liked all the answers i liked all the inputs on the situation you feel me even though like it, all of them was kind of similar or whatever the situation is but everybody has their little differences damn we got killer we got boil slave we got pancakes like You know you can date them all if you like. Can we date them all? <laughs> no, this is bad. Hell. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Yeah, man, we just gonna go, we gonna go with everybody. Everybody get a date, man. I love the ladies. I love all, you know, their intelligence, their mindsets. Everybody got a, you know, good head on their shoulder. I love the options. Well, congratulations, ladies. I'm like, everybody gets a piece of youngest on the panel. Okay, so before we close it out, I wanna know, one by one with the ladies, what would y'all like to do y'all first day? What would y'all all like to do as all three of you ladies together with youngest at one time? What will y'all be doing? And I guess I'm being a little petty, but okay, let's go. Um, so um, this is what's gonna happen. Killa, you can watch from the door, but it's gonna be me, youngest, and my baby mama. And I'm going I'm going to take both their motherfucking souls. But you can watch Killer. Okay, baby mama. <laughs> okay. What she said. That's okay, because when y'all done, I'm coming in there and one on one. All three of y'all motherfuckers. So bring them masses here. <laughs> Okay, everyone, well, this concludes the show, Date or Disaster, where tonight, dollars have dated all three women, and there will be a lot of loving and poly going on. Okay, so congratulations to all three of you ladies. Thanks for being on the show. Dollars, make sure y'all favor of dollars, ladies, gentlemen. Okay, no homo. Favor of all these beautiful ladies on the panel. Okay. Oh, dollars. Um, yes, um, um, well, anyway, uh, yes, as I was saying, also, if you want to sign up for the show, you can always look at my IG, okay, uh, it's in my bio, Wifey the Comedian or Wifey with the Badge, also, I screen record my shows and put them on my YouTube, Wifey the Boss, so this show will be 
upload it later tonight. So everybody go subscribe, 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 subscribe. Shout out to dollars in the building with the dollars, dollars, dollars. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Pancake. <laughs> and this concludes the show. <laughs>